<laughs> you gotta keep them separated. Imagine the stuff has hit the fan and you are, you need to build yourself an outhouse. Say you're on the move and you've got to carry things with you and you've got to go. There was an earthquake, a tornado. Um, you need sanitary, a sanitary area in order to, in order to use the restroom. And that's the major problem a lot of women have with camping out and hiking is that there's no place to go. Uh, to take a dust bath. Why are you being noisy, girls? They're out of water again. I'm going to build a portable toilet out of this five gallon bucket, this empty vinegar bottle, flat funnel. Pool noodle, dollar store, trash bag. The most important thing is to stay clean in an emergency so you don't get stomach borne diseases that start to happen in places like Haiti after the earthquake. After a hurricane when there's no water coming in, you have to keep your crap under control before the crap hits the fan or after the crap hits the fan. One of those. I'm going to cut I'm going to cut a line down the pool noodle and make a toilet seat. Now, in an emergency maybe I only have a shopping bag so I would double those up as they tend to have holes in the bottom. But if you're lucky and smart, you've either stored or can get a hold of trash bags. Now, you would throw dry leaves, loose dirt, sand, grass, whatever you can get a hold of in the bottom uh, because you needed to absorb it. And then throw some more sawdust or whatever you've got, dirt, throw more on top to keep it dry. Number one can be poured out pretty much anywhere on dirt. It's fine, you won't smell it. It won't hurt anything. It's fine. poured onto tree, water tree. Number two, however, needs to be kept away from everything. Because it's important to keep the liquids and the solids separated so that this doesn't get wet and nasty and cause environmental damage and make everyone sick. That's where this comes in. I bought this at the Japanese dollar store and you would open it up. If you have to if you have to be in a car or something, you're going to need to put up a privacy shield and then use this as your bathroom. Great emergency bathroom. I will now attempt to sit on this and see if it's possible. I totally could go on this. It totally works. So there you have it, emergency toilet. Number one emergency, number two emergency, keep them separated. You gotta keep them separated. Whoa! Come out and play! Oh, well, I guess not. Another thing to pack in your bug out bag would be wet wipes, toilet paper. Don't forget those, very important. But you can have a bucket you can totally carry a bucket with you on most emergencies. And inside the bucket can be more of your supplies. So there you have it. When you set up camp, set up a place to go.
and it will be more sanitary than just everybody, every man for himself, going everywhere. Because that's really bad, and that's what causes diseases. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm still sitting on it. It's pretty comfortable. I can do it. Do you want your own bathroom? Huh? Hey, get out of here. Breaking and entering. Entering. No breaking. Time to go clean the coop. threats are inherent to the place that you live. In Texas we have tornadoes, we could have earthquakes, sometimes there's flooding, we have snowstorms, our water, our water pipes froze for four days in a row this year. Luckily we had prepared with water. So things happen and infrastructure can break down. You could run out of water like they did in California. You still gotta go, you still gotta live. And some of those people, they can't afford to sell their property because no one's going to buy property without water. So, just my thoughts about what you might need to do. And get real, if you're too squeamish to pee in a bottle, maybe you're not really a survivor. Maybe you're the first one they push off the island. Think about it. It's just a bodily function. It's really not that big a deal. Someone's shooting. They're driving me nuts. Target practice. Or that deer is as holy as Swiss cheese. <laughs>